Imagine standing in absolute darkness, a place where there is no up, no down, just infinite black. Most would call this emptiness, but what if this isn't the absence of something? What if this blackness is actually everything? Before there were stars, before time as we know it, there was something deeper, an endless sea of energy, unseen and unfelt, but always present. This is plasma. You might have heard of it as the fourth state of matter, but plasma is more than just the stuff inside stars and lightning bolts. It is the most fundamental state of existence, a field of pure energy that moves, flows, and interacts, shaping everything we know. Plasma isn't solid like rock, isn't liquid like water, and isn't a gas like the air we breathe. It's something different, a charged living ocean of particles, constantly shifting, constantly creating. And at its most extreme, when we reach the smallest, most intense scale possible, the Planck scale, we find what scientists call Planck plasma. This is the purest, most energetic form of reality itself. It is zero-point energy, meaning that even in what we think of as empty space, energy is still there, vibrating, waiting, shaping what comes next. Everything, every atom in your body, every planet, every star, comes from this plasma. It isn't just part of the universe. It is the process that creates it. It is not a substance. It is an interaction a continuous flow of energy shaping and reshaping reality in ways we can barely comprehend. But if plasma is what moves and creates, what about the blackness? What about the vast void of space? We've been taught that black is nothingness, an absence, a void. But this isn't true. Black is not empty. It is full. It is not the absence of color, but the union of all colors at once, merged into a single, perfect balance. It is the foundation of everything, the space where all possibilities exist at the same time. Imagine taking every sound, every note ever played, and blending them together into one single, perfect vibration. That is black, not the end, but the beginning of everything. And then there is light. We think of light as the truth, as the source of everything, but light is not reality itself, it is just the part we are able to perceive. Our eyes only detect a tiny fraction of what's really out there. The visible spectrum, red, blue, green, yellow, is only a sliver of a much larger reality. There are forms of energy and wavelengths we cannot see, infrared, ultraviolet, X-rays, gamma rays, radio waves, entire realms of existence happening right now, all around us, completely invisible to our senses. But just because we can't see them doesn't mean they aren't there. So what does this mean? It means that reality is not made of objects. It is not a collection of separate things. Reality is a conversation. Plasma moves and creates. Black holds everything together. And light? Light is just the whisper of something far, far greater. If we could see beyond light, beyond our tiny fraction of perception, what would we discover? What hidden forces are shaping our world, our thoughts, our very existence? What if the real universe isn't what we see, but what we feel, what we connect to? What has been speaking to us all along, just beyond the limits of perception? Perhaps, the true nature of reality has been waiting for us to listen.